Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I'm Farmer Tom. Hi, Farmer Tom. Has anybody been here before? Yeah. Oh, cool. Great. Welcome to Homestead. Today's Farm Fun Day. We're going to have a great time. Now, because we have so many today, I need four volunteers to be group leaders. Yeah. Adults. Oh. <laughs> Homestead Farms is a new adventure in the agritourism uh, here in Dunedin area. This particular property we're sitting on uh, has been in the Bates family for a long time. Uh, it was primarily a strawberry farm. As we took the farm over and now we're making it more of the hometown feel farm. So we're not focusing on strawberries. Uh, we're actually focusing on the homegrown things, organic potatoes, fresh lettuces, fresh grown tomatoes locally. So just to give a little history on the farm here, uh, we're standing on land that was actually one of the first farms in Dunedin. Back in the 1800s, a gentleman by the name of R.L. Garrison fought the Seminole Florida Indian Wars and he was granted 150 acres of land and you're standing on that land. This was the first farm in Dunedin. Even though uh, we're not using traditional earth farming, uh, it's now a more urban, modern farm using the hydroponics. So after all this time, the land is still being used to produce food. The biggest thing that we're trying to do here at Homestead Farms is provide people with a nice little oasis. We're, technically, we're nestled in the middle of uh, one of the largest populations in Florida, in Pinellas County. We're so densely populated here that the kids and families have nowhere to go. Here we have four acres of beautiful land. It's a place that they can get away, five minutes away from home. You know, bring the kids out. Most kids have never seen a chicken other than in a cartoon. So here the kids not only get to see the chicken, they get to pet and hold their chickens. And they actually see where eggs come from. Open your bag, kids. Get ready. All right, there's one. Number two. We are a commercial farm um, and producing um, a major crop this year. We have availability for 10,000 plants. And one of the biggest advantages to hydroponic farming is in just two square feet, we can have 20 plants using our hydro stacker system. So we can 20 times the amount of plants. Not only that, another large advantage of using hydroponics is that we use one third less water to maintain. So look at the advantages of it. One third less water, 20 times the amount of plants as traditional farming, no pesticides, and, and environmentally friendly, and then we have a great place for the kids and the families to come and pick up their local vegetables. Not only that, but we also offer a little bit of entertainment, a day out, a way to get away from the apartment or the, the community um, and instead of being stuck in the urban house. Yay! Let's go on a tortoise hunt. Everybody ready? Yeah. Let's go. This land is home to wild coyotes. That's the reason we have the two Brayfield donkeys. When kids are not here, that this is the donkey's home. They roam the property. The coyotes are afraid of the donkeys, so they're our farm protectors. It is also home to about 20 gopher tortoises. Um, one of the funny things for me is I, I grew up in the state of Kentucky as a young lad, um, you know, up until I was 10 years old, living on about 10 acres with a pony and and planted a garden and grew everything from green beans. My family practically lived off the land um, in Kentucky. And it's funny, I ran from that most of my life and, and was what I would call an urbanite. You know, I had to have the house and, and live on the concrete street and the paved roads. And it's funny, um, I'm older now and I really enjoy being back to where. So I'm back to my roots, so to speak. And this comes very natural to me. Um, as a kid growing up, riding my pony around, sometimes I wish I could jump on Spartacus or Marcello, one of our donkeys, and just take a ride out and be a kid again. But for me, it's full circle, and uh, I'm the happiest guy I could ever be here. I love the people. I love the place. 
um, uh, and I'm producing something that I hope the community loves because we can become, a, and we are, a vital part of the community, offering the people things that they can't get anymore. So when they come to Homestead Farms, they're at home here. And that's what we're trying to portray, and that's the image we want for the community. Come out and have a good time. We don't care if you buy anything. We want you to come out and hang out on the deck, listen to a little music. We have local musicians that come by all the time and play. Just come out and have a great day. That's what this is all about. Get away. I think I, I, think I, I think I'm going to be a farmer.